This is Alex Gaming in History. I'm going to be playing Dragon Ball Z Sagas. This game out came out in 2005, and we're just going to be doing the arrival. And I'm just going to skip this opening cutscene here. We're going to go right to it here. But I love the cutscenes. They use real footage from the anime. And I'm just going to be doing like, just a little speed run of the first level here and fight Raditz. Um, I think the picture looks pretty fantastic, as best as I can get it, because I'm using a component to HDMI cable, and I'm playing this on the original Xbox. Now, I never played this on the original Xbox when I first got it. I, pay I played it on the PS2. And I don't know... what it was about the PlayStation 2, but it would freeze up. I played this once before, so I got all of the upgrades and whatnot. And uh, it kind of reminds me of Dragon Ball Z Kakarot. It's sort of the precursor to that. And I thought it was a unique title. Yeah, it's kind of like Dragon Ball Z Kakarot. I first played this in, when it first came out. Back in 05, when I was 13. And it's just a really... It's like a 3D beat-em-up. and It only went to the Cell Saga. I really wish it would have gone further into the Boo, but... It, Maybe there was just some type of time constraint, or maybe it wouldn't look right or something. Uh, I'll just do the boss battle with Raditz here. And I'm just playing on the easiest difficulty, so... Just for demonstration purposes. Don't, don't mess with me. I love how they include the power levels. I thought that was really unique. I always love that. Goku and Piccolo, the Earth's two greatest fighters, confront the Saiyan invader Raditz. But I love this cutscene. The sun is still locked away in the Saiyan space pod. Goku refuses to submit to Raditz's none them, demands. None of the other games do this, I don't think. And save the Earth, or die trying. I'll teach you a lesson, fool. But he's pretty easy. We'll see about that. Most of the time they're off screen. <laughs> but Give it up. There's no use. But this is just a really unique title because none of them are real like this besides Kakarot. In sort of a way. I wish they would I wish this series would have gone more.
gone more into this series, but uh, I hope everyone had a good uh, Christmas and just holiday break and whatnot. That's about it for that. Desperate to help his father, young Gohan's anger explodes, and the incredible power sleeping within is um, momentarily awakened. Gohan attacks and lands a critical blow. To this also had like the hit future of Trunks, which I hadn't seen in before in a game, I think. His own But uh, yeah, that's about it for uh, this little playthrough. I just wanted to do a quick little gameplay vid of it. But uh, I think this is the only Dragon Ball Z game for the Xbox. But uh, yeah, I just wanted to show you guys that and just wanted to make sure it was saved. That's why I pressed the record button down there. Sometimes it's picky, but yeah, I just wanted to show you that and I'll be doing more, some more gameplay vids of other stuff, maybe some Genesis and maybe some uh, Atari Jaguar, that type of thing. But yeah, I just uh, got a new camera testing that out. So, but uh, until the next time, I will see you guys later. Okay, bye.